that gift of desperation, that visceral, physical pain that forces you to get honest, that forces you to look around and realize you don't know what you're doing. Your decisions have led you to this reality. That's a gift. Because then all you gotta do is set those sector states towards that light. Start crawling out of that hole. In the beginning, the correct direction is better than speed. Once you pick it, start walking. Does it have to be perfect? But it has to be moving. It has to be action. Start walking your way to the light. Dude, we're here. Iron Church Sunday. Know who we got? Warpath fit up in the house, bro. Wow. You can tell the people about your path a little bit, man. Right. Yeah. Kind of what that catalyst was for the change where you were at. Kind of your story a little bit. People don't know. Yeah, man. Well, basically what made me change was uh, just, I just wasn't giving like my best, man. Like yeah. that was just, that was my main focus. You know, my kids, my wife, um, just, I was supporting them, you yeah. know, financially. Yeah. But, but mentally, uh, being there as a, solid provider, stuff like that. As far as mentally and stuff, I wasn't. And I was drinking a lot. I That's a powerful it. statement, man. Yeah. Listen to what he said there. Man, don't give the excuse of, man, I'm there, I'm providing, but you're kind of absent, man. You're absent, you know you could be given more energy, more, more present when you're there, more correct, man, it's big. Yeah, no, big time, man. I mean, my, my little son, you know, he was like two years old at the time and he already knew once I got home, I kicked my boots off, Grab dad a beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was his first reaction as a two year old. Yeah. Go to the fridge, grab dad his beer, because that's what he's going to do. Ooh, like it was man. already ingrained in his. Really got the chills. Bro. I know, me too. Yeah, I got the chills. You know what I mean? Like that was ingrained in his mentality at such a young age. That's what dad does. Yeah. Now he knows what dad does. Yeah. Dad's in the gym every day. Yeah. You know, dad's putting in work, dad's tracking his food. Dad's a superhero, basically. <laughs> you got my chills you know? going on that, bro. That's, that's a heavy yeah. change, bro. That's. Most people will burn in with that same, yeah. grab me a beer by the end of the day, bro. We all been there, man. People watching this, bro. We all get stuck in those cycles of it's just, it's not even addiction, it's habit, bro. Yeah. So it's like, dude, you can break that very easily. Pull yourself out of it, start changing those. What was some of the things that you noticed actually were like, that like started pulling you out of that? Just uh, just looking at my kids, man, and just knowing that I wasn't giving my full attention. Like, I was there as a dad, but I wasn't present. You know what I mean? Like, I was still thinking about, all right, when's my next, uh, when's my next beer gonna come from? When can I smoke another joint? You know, while I was here with my family. So just looking at their eyes, man, and just knowing, like, dang, dude, like they're looking at me with kind of this, not disgust, yeah. but like I feel sorry for my dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, dang, that's what my dad's life's all yeah. about. You know, so. The whole thing came down to when I came home from work, though, everything was gone. I walked into an empty house. The family got tired of it, bro. Damn, dude. The wife got tired of it. Damn. You know? And there, there was plenty of signs, you know? Yeah, there was yeah. plenty of times she told me, hey, you got to change your ways. Whoa. Hey, the family's not, you know, liking yeah. your drinking. Yeah. We don't like when you get uh, blacked out drunk on the weekends. Yeah. You know, uh, the kids are seeing this. Okay, I'll change, yeah. I'll change. Yeah. Happened for like a good month. Yeah. And then I go back. Yeah. Right? So eventually came down to the point where I came home from work one day, dude. Everything was gone. Ooh, everything was gone. Damn. Drawers are out. Clothes are missing. The pictures on the wall are gone. Damn. I, ice, ice trays are gone. Yeah, bro. Like literally yeah. everything, you know? And that's when I realized like, dude, I pushed it too far. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was literally trying to see what I could get away with. Yeah. How far can I go without having to change myself? Yeah. But still have my family there. Damn, dude. It was a selfish thing. Yeah. You know, very selfish. So uh, that day, I, I literally dropped to my knees, man. I prayed to God, and I was like, dude, take this away from me. Yeah. You know? And uh, that day, I got some help. I hired a coach and uh, started on my fitness journey. Man, you hired a guy. Yeah, yeah, started there like just, man, it's a lot of times, dude, it's that investment. And and it's not necessarily the information you get. It is, but it's that psychological switch that you're like, all right, I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I'm going to fucking start walking this path, bro. Yeah. I did. It was help for me too. Same yeah. thing, bro. That psychological shift of, all right, I'm investing in myself. I'm betting on myself. I'm mm -hmm. actually, I trust that I'm going to fucking do this. Yeah. A lot of times it's that 
that fear, bro. People won't go into something because they already think they're going to fail, so they won't even try. Guaranteed you ain't going to fucking do it if you don't try, bro. Yeah, yeah. But I think that was the best spot I could have been in, you know, on my lowest point. Like, when you're at your lowest point, the only way it can go is up, right? So it's like you have to find yourself when you're in that dark spot. Yeah. And once you find yourself, man, it's like that fire ignites and you're just like, you're unstoppable. Man, yeah. you got to hit rock bottom so you got something to push off of, man. Exactly. <laughs> nah, for <laughs> real. You real. You know, I'm so glad I went through that because I, who knows if I would have ever changed. We had that gift of desperation. That gift that of desperation. Yeah. It yeah. fucking is massive, bro. Big time. Big man, time. it really makes you look at yourself. That's a powerful story, bro. Yeah. And then, dude. And then who would have thought, bro, competing, dude? How many years ago was that? Man, dude, this was probably a good six years ago. Six years and now yeah. on stage, yeah. chopped up, dude. On stage, <laughs> completely, you know, reinventing myself, bro. Yeah. You know, literally from my career to how I look, how I dress, how I talk. Yeah. Like, everything is different. Dude. You know? And it but came in, in phases, man. It, it did. didn't happen overnight. Oh, no. No. And it's still happening. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing it's about still it. still happening. Yeah, it's not you know a destination. What I mean? It's like, it's not, exactly, it's not a destination. It's just a... Uh, it's that journey, you know, and that's what I tell people. Fall in love with that process, bro, because yeah. you're never going to get to that end result. No. And if you're focused on that end result, you're no. going to give up. It, you'll never get what you'll just be. You'll be constantly fucking let down. Mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, dude, I'm not there. Well, there's nowhere to get to. Yeah. So of course, you're going to be yeah. let down, bro. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a powerful. That or you get comfortable, you know, Man, that's powerful, bro, about that. Man, it always is that powerful moment, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's that switch, you know, once that switch flips, it's like it's, that's when you're powerful. And I, I tell people this all the time, bro, if you could change yourself, like you could do anything. And then look what it did too, the trickle effect with your wife and everybody in the fitness world. Oh, yeah. Everybody's chopped up in the family now, exactly. bro. Bad situations, they don't happen to you, they happen for you. There's no other way to look at it. Well, you can look at it another way, but I don't suggest it. No. I don't suggest it. <laughs>
You're hurting yourself. Yeah. Bro, you're chipping away at your self-worth. You know in your head that you said, okay, send me, and now you just won't do it. Yeah. You knew what the numbers were. Bro, if there's an issue also, I go, bro, communicate. Right. Say, hey, man, it's the money or this. I say, dude, I'll work with people, bro, if they're, like, ready to do some 100%. shit. 100%. But I go, talk. Yeah, talk. let me know. Let I don't know, know what you need unless yeah, you let no, me know. Exactly, you know? bro. Ask, man. Yeah. Ask, and ye shall receive. Bro, you have to talk. If you reach out and you want help, Okay, cool. Well, let's let's figure out how to make this work. Yeah. And I'm sure it's it's like a baffling uh, psychological thing. I I uh, I'm trying to like figure out how to like get people across that gap. I say, dude, there's no story where the guy knew the exact step and it wasn't scary and it wasn't your next step was never meant to be comfortable. Promise you that it wasn't right. for me when I reached out, bro. I was like, oh, I don't know, dude. And yeah. then, but you're never gonna know, bro. Yeah. You're never gonna know. And that's the biggest way to like lack confidence, right? Like saying you're going to do something and then not following through with it. That's the biggest way you're going to be lacking confidence from now. Because now your brain knows, man, I said I was going to do something then I didn't follow through with it. What else do you do that with? You know what I mean? It's usually yeah. a habit. It's everything. A lot man. of people do that with multiple things in life, you know, even, even with your kids, right? You tell your kids, I'm going to take you to the park this weekend. And then what happens? You start eating, start drinking. There goes the park, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Stick to your word, fellas. Stick to your word, man. Yeah, but I get all the time clients, you know, come up to me and they'll be like, you know, we hop on a phone call and this guy is explaining everything that's going on, right? He's drinking. Him and his wife are in a bad spot in their relationship. You know, his kids want nothing to do with him. He's overweight. Man, he wakes up every day just hating life. All right, bro, let's do this then. You ready? Well, let me think about it. <laughs> what is there to think about? You just bro. gave me the rundown on why you have to do this. You've thought about it. And now, yeah. Yeah, dude. Now we're here. You're not alone, just so you know, dude. Yeah. It's, it's like an interesting piece because, man, if you reach out to somebody, bro, have already thought about it. You already know what you need to do. How much money do you spend on bullshit? You, the, the secondary and tertiary effects, how much money you're going to save. Not starting is going to cost you thousands, bro. Thousands. Imagine over the years and time, not to mention your energy and just your quality of life. You're going to save, you're going to make money, bro. Yeah. Tens of thousands, maybe millions. Who the fuck knows how locked on you can get or what you're capable of. Don't sit there and spin your wheels knowing what you need to do. Act. Think less. Act more. Don't think yourself back to dumb, dude. People always find a way to buy the bullshit. Mm-hmm. I go cut the subscriptions, sell some shit you're not using. Boom, there you go. Yeah, you got the money now. You got the money now, dude. Yeah. It's, find a way, bro. It's not hard. Yeah. It's really not hard. It's not like you're writing a check for a fucking couple hundred grand, dude. Yeah. This is your life, bro. A hundred, few hundred bucks, dude, to get your life. Are you fucking serious, bro? Think, man. Well, you can spend 300 bucks at the bar on the weekend. Easy. You Easy. Know what I mean? Every time. Easy. <laughs> and that's already the cost of your coaching right there. For one weekend, yeah. you just bought the whole program for a month. And people, but people don't look at it like that. They look at it like, I don't know how they look at it. Well, I know how I looked at it. I would, yeah. I would easily spend hundreds of dollars on the weekends yeah. every fucking yeah. weekend. But I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to buy this super positive thing that it's like going to change my life. All right. Um, let me think about it, bro. You yeah. didn't think about it. Or, dude, if you're going to ask permission to do the, you ain't asking permission to go buy the, the 24 pack and run the, the right. bottles of fucking booze, dude. Man, think. Yeah. Oh, no. My wife used to tell me, you know, uh, like you're going to buy beer on the weekend. I'm a man. I can do it. You know, I got this. Yeah. But when it comes down to self investment, <laughs> let me ask the wife real quick. Yeah, always. Let me ask the wife if I can invest in myself. Oh, you know yeah. What I mean? Oh, she said. I get it. I'm married. You guys got to communicate. But at the same time, man, your wife is probably wishing you yeah. invested in yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because... Just sitting you on the couch, watching you waste your life away. Yeah. She'd probably rather you do something. Yeah, well, she's probably thinking, oh, he's going to spend it on that and the booze, man. Yeah. Cut one out. That's the key piece. <laughs> Cut something out, bro. Man, stop yep. stop spending money on shit that's destroying you. It's, it doesn't exactly. work out, bro. No, 100%. The change doesn't happen immediately. Like, your change, you didn't get to this body, this physique overnight, and just like your psych psychological fucking place you're at, yeah. your state of mind, man, it's, it's a piece. It's a step. Man, like I said, dude. That journey of a thousand miles, that Zen proverb starts with one step. That path's going to illuminate as you walk it. Just start to work it. Change the breakfast. Change the wake up. I say start there. Change the wake up. Change the breakfast. Change the lunch. It, you, you tighten the dial, bro. You tighten it like a boa constrictor. Just start tightening your day up piece by piece. 
And man, after months, you look back and you got a rock solid day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about momentum, right? Doing one thing, then keep that going, then do a next scene. And by the time you know that ball's just moving. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's a lot harder to start when, when you're stalled out, stop completely. Yeah. Than to just keep stuff going every single day. You got that momentum. Yeah. You know what I mean? Use it. Dude, the samurai used to call it, they call it perfect day practice. And I really like that. They go, they go, wake, perfect day practice. They don't say perfect execution of the day every every day all the time they say practice you you practice the violin of the guitar you don't right. you're not perfect at it every day dude there's always something you could tighten in mm -hmm. practice the perfect day keep practicing and guess what man you're never going to get it perfect but you can get it pretty damn tight man yeah. Yeah. pretty damn tight in the line bro you'll be amazed bro and it does take time but at the same time it happens pretty damn quick if it you does. think about it you know it what does. i mean if you were to give yourself Six months, one year. Yeah. What's one year out of your whole, you know, 60, 70 years of life to, to change yourself? Dude, you, you look back in a, in a year of locking it on, 365 days, bro. That's it. When God, when your show, when the universe shows you a better way and now your consciousness is raised, guess what? You're held to a higher level of responsibility. Your understanding grows, your perspective grows, your responsibility grows karmically. Man, make the decision and start doing it because it's way better anyway. Yeah. You're going to be reprimanded. Hard, bro. So you're rocking those twenty fives too. <laughs> Yes, you're rocking those 25s too, man. <laughs> if you're watching this and you have that inner, that authentic voice speaking to you, that voice going, hey, man, we got to change some shit up. Guess what? Make the call because, dude, that is going to eat at you. It's going to get louder and louder. Things in your life are going to start happening stronger and stronger, man. Yeah. Like you're walking in, man, and things are gone out of your house, bro. It's happened to me too, man. Mm -hmm. it's, your whole life is don't put yourself in that position, right? Yeah. You don't have to hit rock bottom. You can learn from other motherfuckers that have, bro, and then yeah. and be the be the wise man and learn from somebody else's mistakes. That's what that's the smart man. That's the wise man. Hundred percent. Yeah, and it's crazy because like if you think about it, it goes in stages. Like you said, you know, if you don't listen to that voice, it does get harder and harder and harder. More things start happening, yeah. right? Yeah. Like at first, like it started me and the wife started arguing about my drinking. Yeah, that was the first clue. Yeah. Oh shit, my marriage is going to the dumps because of my habit. Yeah. Then I got a DUI. Yeah. Right. Then I crashed my truck. Yeah. Then it's like, okay, everything's happening. It's getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> then I come home one day, everybody's gone. Yeah. Right. I lost my family. If I would have listened to those cues before then, Woo. I could have stopped all that from happening. Yeah. But maybe that was my purpose. Maybe I had to go through yeah. that hard time in order to change. Well, you definitely Some did. Some people have to. Well, you did. So that others don't have to, right? Then you have to, you <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And you don't bro, like that's your truck, bro. And like you said about being committed, right? Like I was committed. Like that's one thing about me is I have an addictive personality yeah. where whatever I do, I'm gonna do it to the fullest extent. Yeah. When I was drinking, I would drink to get drunk. Yeah. I'm not gonna drink to just have a good time, be social. Yeah. I'm gonna drink to get blacked out, yeah. to be the one that finishes all the beer. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because I'm gonna go hard. Yeah, yeah. Now with a fitness it. thing, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go hard in this shit yeah. too. I'm gonna jump on stage. I'm gonna get shredded. I'm gonna get lean. Like. Yeah. I'm going to push it to that extreme. Yeah. Right. So it's like, I don't have that middle ground. And so pick, so pick your, pick your direction, bro. Pick your direction. You're, a, you're a hardcore motherfucker, man. Make sure you're hardcore in the shit that's actually going to benefit you, bro. Right. That's going to make you healthy, wealthy, and wise, man. That's, that's the name of the game, bro. Pick, pick your direction. It's my, it's my philosophy that there's man chooses the path, right? God chooses the steps. Exactly. I think that's a Proverbs, man, but it's, 100%. it's so true. It's like, there's a few junctions in your life where you have a choice. You're like, man, like you could have easily walked in on that house and been like, man, fuck that, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, no one's going to tell me how to live my life. And uh -huh. dude, a lot of guys do that, bro. Yeah. I know people in my life have. And, and, and what is it? It's ego. It right? is. And just like at the beginning, bro, man, when I was doing drugs and you know, snorting fentanyl and drinking every day, bro, and people would be like giving me hints, bro. But I wouldn't hear it because no one could tell me shit. Right. Right. No one could tell me shit because it was all ego, man. And at some point, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, will strip that ego away. And for me, it was laying, sitting in my truck suicidal with a sawed off on my fucking lap, dude, being like, and it was all my egotistical decisions that led me to this point where I had no option to have an ego. <laughs> there yeah. was nothing to point at anymore. Yeah. And but it's easy to justify, right? Why we do what we do, you know? 
I drink because of this, or I don't do this because of that. Like Man, I'm stressed. I'm taking care of business. So yeah. why, why, why does anybody tell me anything? I got the bills paid. No one can tell me shit, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, that's the wrong mentality to fall into. Bro, it's you not know? enough. It's well, not my enough. mentality was like, hey, I provide the bills. I work my butt off. I'm working eight to 12 hours a day. I deserve a beer. Yeah. I deserve this. It's like, what? You deserve a beer because you're taking care of your family? Yeah. You're providing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're doing the minimum of what a man is supposed to do. Yeah. And you feel like you're deserving now of a beer? Like, yeah. Man, that's what you're supposed to do already. Yeah. And you know? it's also, dude, it's, if you have more to give and more to be, then you have to. That's just right. how it is. But look how much more was in the tank, bro. So much more, bro. Look how much more was in the tank, I was living tank, under my dude. potential by, I'd say, 90%. I dude, was giving 10%. That's what tripped me out, bro. Just in, like, physique, energetically, like, I, I can't imagine just off of just straight visual, bro. Yeah. I'm like, bro, how much more was in the tank, bro, right. that you yeah. were like... They, uh, that term sleeping on your potential I love that term because it's so well used man you're just the capacity you're able to do bro to get the mo momentum begets momentum start doing more you're gonna do more it's always funny dude I find I do less in my life when I am have less to do and right. I'm doing less and I'm doing less bro when you start you go I don't have time that's bullshit yeah. You got time, <laughs> you got the money, you got all the shit. Go in your garage, look at your fucking tools you haven't touched in fucking how long because you ain't doing shit. Sell them, get your shit, dude, and get your shit right, bro. Yeah, and that's what I did, bro. I was in the HVAC field, and uh, I transitioned into what I'm doing now. Guess what I did? I sold all my tools. Yeah, because I'm not going back to HVAC. <laughs> yeah, I don't need them. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I, there was a part of me that said... Keep them just in case you fail yeah. at doing what you're doing. And you were holding on. I'm like, it. so I'm already planning on failing. Yeah. You know, so that was yeah. my mentality. So right then and there, I was like, I got to sell this shit. Damn. You know what I mean? So literally went on Facebook, whatever, sold all my tools, bro. Those, li no back. those little psychological games, man, matter. Yeah. They're those little, you're holding on to your binky, dude. You're, bro, I saw a quote the other day saying, bro, you, you can't steal second with your foot still on first. That's so true. Bro, you got, you got to let it go, dude. Yeah. You got to fucking roll the dice, bet on, take a risk. It's not even a risk, bro. Yeah. That's the thing is it's not, you trying it and becoming somebody better isn't a risk. Everything else is going to fucking, the money will come. The relationship will come. The life will start to build itself around. It, it's a no-brainer. Don't overthink this shit. Mm -hmm. Go get in the gym. If you're watching this and you haven't gone to work out in a while, guess what, bro? Start moving. Start working out. I don't care if you reach out to me or whatever. Bro, reach out to Warpath. Get somebody who can put you on a simple, direct plan so you can just follow it, bro, so you don't got to overthink this shit. It's yeah. our, Don't recreate the fucking wheel. Get on a plan so, so you can start getting momentum so you start getting stoked fast, bro. 100%. 100%. Yeah, it's like swinging from one tree to another. You're trying to get to this tree, but you're holding on to this branch still. Yeah, you ain't going to get to that tree. No, you know bro. What I mean? Bro, that head chat's mean, bro. Yeah. That thing's mean. My warrior helmet, Dude, man. That thing's nasty, bro. It's my warrior helmet. Yes. That thing looks sick, bro. All my tattoos, a lot of them are, uh, you know, Aztec. Yeah. Aztec the related. Lines. Dude, that's some, yeah, just, that's some sick ass shit, bro. My mentality, you know, that's how I, I reinvented myself. I, you know, going back to like, you got to kill your old self, right? Yeah. I killed Richard, bro. Like, that's why I'm Warpath. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I literally brainwashed myself into this new person. Yeah. And uh, Richard is there. He's going to always be there, yeah. right? But it's that battle. Warpath is what steps up when Richard can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when Richard's weak, when Richard has excuses, yeah. he wants to take a day off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Warpath comes in and You're kicks like, his ass. listen up, Richard, bro. And says, let's go. Sit you know? the fuck down. Yeah. So... <laughs> It's like that alter ego that a lot of people talk about, you know, Kobe, Jordan, like they turn into a different person when they're on that court. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to do. If that's what it takes to change your life, where you literally brainwash yourself into this other person, do that. Do whatever works for you. Because I guarantee you that's going to change your whole outlook on how you are. Get it. There's also peace, bro. What do you want to look like? Bro, get that clear. I was sending you a visualization, bro. I know for my tattoos and shit. When I started to make that, flip that switch, I was like, all right, it's starting. And it was, you know, consistent work. And it was, it's a piece of it, man. It's not the whole fucking thing, right? But get clear what you want to look like. Yeah. It's your presentation, man. You, you have you all the time, everywhere you go. So make sure you're presenting yourself how you see yourself. Because it matters, man. It matters how you present yourself to the world. Because it, it shows, man, you give a shit. You take pride in yourself. 
you have that self-worth, it's all peace, man. Mm -hmm. You may not want being blasted with tattoos, but man, make damn sure from your feet to the top of your head, you look like exactly like you want to look like. Yeah, 100%. Right? That and just, just looking at us, how blasted we are, like we're committed, right? Yeah. In all areas of our life. From the tattoos to our workouts to oh, our yeah. family. Like that shows commitment right there. You didn't just stop at one. No. You went all the way. Yeah, because, and, and there was those huge chunks in life where I was, I didn't look like how I wanted. I'd hit into my tattoos because I was fucking spending money on other shit. Yeah. Too tight. Couldn't miss tattoo appointment. Just so. Just clusterfuck, bro. Yeah. And then when I got serious, it actually came to fruition. Right. Just like everything else, man. Yeah. It's amazing, bro. It's amazing what happens. I know I can still fucking do it once. I got what I do too is I I, I kind of rotate from here and I go backwards. So instead of straight up and down, so right here, you know, I come from here and I put this in my pocket. Oh, good man. point. So it's about bringing it back to you because yeah, you, you got that, the swoop. Yeah, you feel that lat hit. Okay. Versus coming up and down. There is good ones for up and down, but you're going to hit a different muscle. Yeah, I see what you mean. When you're coming in. So coming out from here, putting this in your pocket, driving it all the way back. Because you're getting that stretch too on the way down versus that short movement. That's a good point. You know? Man, it's little things like that, man, that I just never even thought about. Yeah, there you go. Pull that shit all the way back. You'll hit that right here. Yep. Oh, damn. Dude. Yeah, you can feel that getting hard. Damn. Yes, sir. That hits lower, huh? Yep. No, bodybuilding is a lifetime lifestyle sport. Yeah. From everything from sleeping, eating, in the gym training, your stress management yeah. and it is a selfish sport yeah you know what i mean so you got to have family that understands that yeah, as well yeah, that's in the game with that you. that knows you know hey this is this guy's goal he's gonna probably be you know maybe to himself for a little bit for a couple weeks yeah. if he's focused but uh that's where my wife man i i love her to death because she understands that shit yeah you know she lets me be me and do what i gotta do yeah you know to fulfill my dreams man that's dude because it's a heavy shift it's a heavy gear shift right when yeah. you get it on stick Cause looking good at the beach, bro, is different than getting on stage and looking. Oh good. yeah, big time. And I've never gone. I've never done stage stuff. That's why I got a. That's why I got a level of respect because it's like, dude, it's a different. It's a different type of animal. Yeah, yeah it is. From posing, you know what I mean. Like it's not just. It's not just lifting the weights either. It's from posing to eating, like your water intake. Yeah, how do we get the muscle and shit? Every, yeah, yeah, everything. Because <laughs> we're gonna be doing what this. What else am I gonna be doing? I'm it. like, bro, we're gonna be showing up every fucking day. Every day. <laughs> every day. You know where to find me. <laughs> right yeah, here. Dude. Good, thanks um, again. Have a good Sunday, yes, sir. You too. Hey, everybody, great Sunday. We had a great workout. Man, if you're still in the house, go out there and get some, bro. Enjoy it. Go. Hey, ask me how I did Hell yeah. That's what's up. Good shit. Ask me how I'm living. I'm telling them grace. Ask me how I did it. I'm telling them grace. Ask me how I'm living.